dying. Earthquakes, floods. The economy collapsed because of all those natural disasters. But a lot of the blame went to mutants, homo superior. Some call them the next stage in human evolution. Others, a threat to our very existence. So now we've got these purifier cults springing up everywhere. They say they're humanity saviors. Well, someone's got to do it. We X-Men will work with local and national authorities to keep the peace and to deliver help where it's needed. And the Brotherhood of Mutants will protect its own. One man could have brought sense and sanity out of this chaos. But Charles Xavier is dead. Struck down when he and Magneto faced the menace called Bastion. The Professor's dream died on that day. Without him, the X-Men just fell apart. But Mr. Summers, what about the school? Right here, right now, the school is just a target, Pixie. We'll rebuild it somewhere else. The government's Mutant Response Division has deployed 10,000 troops in the Bay Area and moved its Telos Com satellite into orbit above the city. Commander Reyes, do you think the MRD presence here will diffuse the tension, restore some kind of normalcy to the city? That's our all. What about Magneto? Magneto has not been seen since the Bastion incident. Everyone lists Magneto among the missing, but he's still out there. He's just deciding on his next move. Between mutants and purifiers, San Francisco is a virtual powder keg. What will it take to bring calm? Who will be the voice of reason? Today is about the future. A future we have chosen to face together, human, and mutant alike. San Francisco has opened its arms to show the world that peace can be achieved. Today, the future begins with a gesture of trust on both sides. I am proud to stand alongside the X-Men's leader, Cyclops, and the mayor of San Francisco as we move the city toward integration of our mutant and human communities. The group that I represent, the Mutant Response Division, we are not warriors, we are peace keepers. The peace we build here is precious and must be protected. I would like to call upon Cyclops, formerly of the Xavier Academy for Gifted Youngsters. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. I'll speak plainly, and I'll keep it short. The choice we all face is between peaceful coexistence and blind hatred. Charles Xavier died on the street. We have to live with it. You mark my word, your turn's gonna come! We have to but choose a side, make a stand. The apathy of the many is as destructive as the malice of the few. It's time we remember that we're one people, united by our shared humanity. Your genes don't decide your destiny. You do. We all do. Mutants steal jobs. This rally is dedicated to the cause of peace. It is also to honor the memory of Professor Chuck. So you've got any special powers besides me? Mayor Gavin Sinclair I'm just joking around. Both summers and myself to San Francisco. His hope was that we would all come together here and start a dialogue. You think Magneto's gonna show? Magneto's a terrorist. He doesn't bother with negotiations. This is a city that understands differences and that understands what fertile ground this can be. For a lifestyle that is rich, diverse, and rewarding. The powers and everything. She was just a little weird. You ask, who I am? Who is Louis Reyes? In the back of his grand pronouncement. Remain untainted. Since I was a small boy. When the beauties finally got me, I died as a man should. Protecting his country and his people. 
Mutants are nature's greatest mistake. We are God's true children. It is your sacred duty to protect the world from these demons. You hear me? Yes, Dad. I hear you. And you won't disappoint me. No, sir. Make your species proud, boy. Make your father proud. Mayor Sinclair, citizens of San Francisco, you have seen your city retreat to two separate enclaves. Professor Xavier stood for integration and unity. Today, we honor his memory and his ideas. Today, we all stand together! Magneto just gave us a vote of no confidence. Looks like we got ourselves a mutie. Wait, no! I I'm Take this freak out at the knees. We're on the same side. You're all right. Take a deep breath. Who... who said that? Don't be scared. I'm Emma Frost, and we're talking mind to mind. I'll coach you through this. The important thing is to focus. Try jumping.
Why are you standing still? So slow. Pay attention. Follow Quicksilver. Go. See him? Where is he? Over there! If you have powers, you better learn to use them. This is an unforgiving leader. I'll project a marker for you. Can you see it? Mega-level mutant, and an X-Man. Looking for an autograph? Not exactly. Just as well. Left my pen in my other suit. Why did you attack a whole squad of purifiers? The odds were against you. Kid, they're the ones who are doing the attacking. They're well-armed, too. The rally attack was a provocation. You can understand them trying to keep the streets safe. Right. With automatic weapons and preemptive strikes. I feel safer already. People are panicked all over the city. Someone has to restore order if the MRD can't. It's exactly how they want us. We have to keep moving. Make sure to check alleyways and rooftops for any mutants in trouble. I never saw your power in action before. It's... It's impressive. Well, this whole thing is new to you. I can tell. You did good. I'm sorry it has to be under such circumstances, but we stick together, right? We? Mutants. Yeah. Right. So what happened to you guys? The X-Men. I mean, I, I thought you guys were East Coast. We lost our base, and the man who brought us together in the first place. Charles Xavier. Yeah, Professor X. To believe he's gone. He set up the X-Men in the first place, didn't he? He was the most powerful telepath the world had ever seen. He found us, and he brought us together. How did he die? The same way he lived. Fighting for peace. Bastion struck him down. Who's Bastion? A robot. Kind of. Most of him, anyway. He came from the future on a mission to wipe out mutants. Where is he now? <laughs> he scattered debris. He lost that fight. Okay. You better keep going. Fight the good fight. I'll see you around. Other mutants are trying to find a way out for us all. Hang in there. <laughs>
Get to the bridge. Get everyone to the bridge. Uh, so many people are in a panic. The psychic noise is deafening. I need your help to search. Purifiers aren't the police, kid. Climb a clear out of my way. Hey! What? You want to stand around and talk now? The purifiers are here in force. Did you see? They're kind of hard to miss. And believe me, you don't want to get in their way. The purifiers only fight mutants. I'm not a mutant. Right. Well, by all means, stay here and tell them that. Listen, that was a mutant atrocity back at the rally. The purifiers are just trying to keep order. Did you fall on your head or something? They're attacking anything that moves, you idiot! The purifiers only fight mutants. I'm not a mutant. Right. Well, by all means, stay here and tell them that. So, are you heading any place in particular? Ha! <laughs> Lost, are you? Yeah, you look it. I'm not gonna slow down for you, kid. Keep up or fade out. I'll race you. You punk kid. Follow Toad. Climb, you can do it. I've never seen so many muties, mutants, in one place. Help them if you can. mutants before, but after this... It was mutants who attacked the rally. You muties are gonna pay! us all on.
Well, they were asking for it. I've been looking forward to seeing your work firsthand. Holding up pretty well. We shouldn't stay here too long. We have to clear a path out of here. I guess you weren't looking forward to meeting me face to face. You know what I am. I know who you were. You still have to choose who you're going to be. Where are the police and the MRT? They can't coordinate. Some sort of interference wave is affecting all electronics in the city. But the purifiers seem awfully prepared, don't you think? These are my people. You know that, right? They're only attacking me because they think I'm a mutant. Because you don't meet their ideals of racial purity anymore. Adrian, you have to accept that things have changed for you. I won't join you. I won't be a part of your mutant nation. You can still work with us. Work to defuse this situation and bring the city back from the brink. People are saying Magneto started this. Well, we can't rule him out. He thought the peace rally was just papering over the cracks of human mutant tension. If he did do this, he's made his point. This is too much. It's too fast. I wish I could reassure you. What's happened to you marks a break with your life before. When you change, change in the very core of your being. Everything else changes around you. All I want to be is what my father taught me to be. That's going to be hard now that you've turned into the thing he hated. Whatever happens, you aren't alone. We should keep moving. We'll have to slip past them unnoticed. We'll cover more ground if we split up. You go that way. Good luck. Oh, and thanks. your tattoo. You're a disgrace. Dad, I'm only trying to. Don't talk back to me! No, sir. I won't. <laughs> Don't bruise the merchandise. Well, not too much. Commander Hodge, I'm getting multiple positives. High-profile muties all over the area. Hmm. You're right. We've got bigger fish to fry. Here. <laughs> Restrain her and bring her in. I'm going to see who else is in the neighborhood. You're a disgrace to those uniforms. This isn't what we do. <laughs> Attacking the helpless.
Right? We're on evac, so you keep doing what you're doing here. Don't worry, the X-Men will take care of you. See how no baram chinu! I guess I can tell why they call you Pyro. Right. What do they call you? Training wheels? There isn't anything out there that I can't handle. I don't really have time for this, but I do like it that you're spoiling for a fine. Reminds me of me. Hey, one more thing. You know Magneto's coming back to us, right? Sooner or later, his hour's gonna come. Now, a whole lot of people think he already did come back. At the rally. Maybe. Maybe not. Just listen up. Biggest choice you're gonna have to make is whose side you're on. Right. Well, thanks. I... I guess. All right, no need to suck up. Just know when to stand your ground. Nightcrawler needs some backup. I can't make it to where you are in time. I'll help if people are in danger, but I won't fight my own kind. Just do what you can. What are we waiting for? We need to blast our way in, and we need to do it now. Raven, this could turn into a massacre. We can't go in without a plan. Time is a luxury we don't have. The purifiers have mutants in there. All they need to do is land a copter on the roof, and we lose them all. Are you Nightcrawler? Ah, uh, I see. All right. You should stay in Nicht, but Emma says I should trust you. What do you think we should do? I can teleport the mutant civilians to safety if you keep the purifiers busy. I don't understand this. Why would we, they, the purifiers, want to take mutant hostages? I don't know. We've never encountered this before. But we have no time to wonder why. We have to stop them. Maybe they're, I, I don't know, renegades, deserters, acting against orders. This is possible, yes. We do not know what their orders were. It seems a little crazy that you can't even agree among yourselves. The Brotherhood may have caused all this, with the rally attack. Sometimes your enemy's enemy is not your friend. If you don't mind me asking, what's with the tail? The tail is for balance, which is good to have ten stories up. And now he hides it with hippie trinkets he found in the hate somewhere. On the contrary, I'm tired of hiding who I am. Now. Besides, you all want to talk about vanity. I'll make an opening. I'm not picking a fight with people who think they're doing right. Mind point. You must follow your conscience in this. I thank you. So, you're Mystique. Of the Brotherhood. You've been waiting for this fight, haven't you? The purifiers have had this coming. I don't see any reason not to give it to them. What do you think we should do? We need to blow that roof so they can't land a copter. 
Pyro's on his way, but it would be nice to give his flame power something to work with. Like what? Provide a little fuel for Pyro's fire. There's a gas line on the roof. MRD don't really care about mutants. Even if they are calling themselves peacekeepers, right? Human authorities protect human interests. And the MRD most of all. Their true colors are starting to bleed through. Tell Cyclops I said that. Word for word. It seems a little crazy that you can't even agree among yourselves. The X-Men's weakness led to this crisis. If they get in our line of fire, they fall too. So you're some kind of mutant terrorist? I'm the answer to scum like the purifiers. And you need to watch your mouth. Mutants attack the rally. I don't see why you aren't railing at each other. You listen to me. If, and I mean if Magneto did all that, then he had his reasons. You've got a lot of hard choices ahead of you. If you think you can stay clean, you're kidding yourself. Then clean isn't exactly where you're starting from, is it? Look, if there are innocent people in danger... People? You're learning. Okay, you can stick around as long as you make yourself useful. Nightcrawler is trying to get as many out as possible. Keep them busy. I'll try. I can get them all out into the alleyway behind the building. I need someone to keep the purifiers from entering the alley. There's no other way. Look out! It's hard to believe you only just came into your powers. We've located... ...at some of the mutants taken by the purifiers. Forge is trying to break them loose. I told him you might be dropping by. Haven't I done enough for the mutant cause already?
So, you want me to break this open, or what? No. There are mutants in here. I'm not sure how many. The lock's wired to a bomb, and there's some sort of interference wave that keeps affecting all my tech. There's one! Of course, it doesn't help that I have to keep watching my back the whole time. Keep them off me! Yes, Emma told me your name. I'm Forge. So these were mutants taken by the purifiers? Near as we can tell, yes. They were left here to be transferred onto a truck or a freight train. No telling where they would have been taken to after that. And have you hacked into purifier equipment before? Many times. This was different. More sophisticated than I've ever seen. They've got a new supplier, obviously. I heard about this interference wave earlier. What do you think it is? I have no idea, but I've seen it a lot lately. A cyclical pattern of heavy static on electronic systems across the city. It arrived about the same time as the MRD. And have you hacked into purifier equipment before? Many times. This was different. More sophisticated than I've ever seen. They've got a new supplier, obviously. You're a mutant, too? What's your thing? Yes, I am. My powers relate to machines. I sort of have a feel for them, for what they can do. If you can think it up, odds are I can make it for you. Is there anything else I can do to help? Frankly, yes. The detonation signal for that bomb was sent from a long way off, but it was routed locally. Somewhere up over our heads, there's a router or signal tower of some kind. If you can find it and shut it down, we won't have to worry about any other bombs or devices responding to that signal. I'm on my way. Good luck. Hey, you! What are you doing up here? Stand down! Does this look like a purifier attack team? I have as much right as you to be here. I'm sorry. After everything that has happened, my troops are a little hair trigger. You were up on the stage with Cyclops just before the attack. I am Luis Reyes, head of the MRD. That means I am responsible for trying to restore order here. Purifiers aren't a threat to order. They're just reacting to the mutant threat. 
There are elements on both sides who are pushing us towards chaos. Only a neutral party can salvage this and find a way to peace. They're saying it was Magneto who broke up the rally. I'm afraid there is no room for doubt. Magneto is a terrorist. Who else would stand to gain if humans and mutants go to war? You think this was meant to start some kind of all-out war? That would be my guess, yes. And it seems to be working. Then the purifiers are victims in this, just like most of these mutants are. It's only a theory. We are still investigating. You are mutant? But uh, I do not know you. I have powers, yes. But it's not clear what their source is. Good luck. Yes, and you. Forgive me. Magneto, why did you do this? Can't you see we're only trying to keep the peace? Indeed. And how is that working out for you, Mr. Reyes? You want to declare war on humankind. Where do you think it will end? I assure you, if I had been behind that attack, I would have been a lot less sloppy. And if I decide to wage war, it will end with extinction. For your species, or for mine. Don't be a fool! The MRD are here to protect you. All of you! Oh yes, I know your resume, Mr. Reyes. Your meteoric rise. But I don't see you as a savior. More of a voyeur. Your orbital satellite peering down at us all. Your obsession with other people's business. Do not let your people suffer for a personal crusade. Look after your own. And understand this. I want your so-called peacekeepers out of this area. As of now, it belongs to Homo sapiens superior. To mutants. You leave me no choice. I will have you arrested for terrorism. <laughs> I cordially invite you to try. The MRD certainly isn't doing much in the way of peacekeeping. Yeah, well, it's looking more like Magneto did launch this attack. And you expect me to side with mutants? We'll need you to help us get to the bottom of all this. Right now, we have to protect innocent mutants from the purifiers. I think it's time you met Cyclops. They'll be waiting for you on Market Street. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> is ordered. What do you want with me? So, you're the mutant whose powers showed during the attack on the rally. We might be able to help you with that if you're interested. Helping mutants come to terms with their powers is what the X-Men do. You should know that the Brotherhood is assembling its forces. Here. Look, I don't even know if I am a mutant. But thanks. We need to work this thing out. You're welcome. Obviously, the main priority right now is to deal with this crisis, but Emma will keep you in touch with us. How can I help? The purifiers are coming in from all over. The 
biggest flashpoint seems to be the bridge. I'll try to break up this fight. For the sake of both sides. I'm happy to hear it. You know there's still fighting going on between mutants and the purifiers. I know. We're going to act as a buffer force along with the MRD. A buffer force? The most important thing is to save lives. You see that, right? Do you think mutants started all of this? Jury's still out. Magneto's powers, and those of the Brotherhood, could explain what happened at the rally. But I'll talk to Magneto himself before I jump to any conclusions. So I have this thing I can do. There are other explanations. The Fantastic Four got their powers from Cosmic Race. I don't have to be a mutie. Look, I know this is traumatic, but it doesn't have to be something you work out by yourself. Think about it. Yeah, sure. Thanks a lot. Brotherhood mutants will be there too. Now, it isn't for me to tell you what to do. We're up against a common enemy, but that doesn't mean we aren't accountable for our actions. Oh, and Adrian? You might want to find something to cover up that purifier tattoo on your arm. The Brotherhood will tear you apart if they see it. The X-Men and their guests and significant others are over this way. Our allies need more muty material to work with. If these vermin stop the copters, you'll be weeping blood. Yes, Commander Hodge. Come <laughs> on. 
You're not strong enough yet. I'm gonna wipe that smug look off his face. Fighting for mutants. Fall on your sword to erase the shit. Give it up. You can. You can. Turn me. You can't hurt me. <laughs> 